Every year, the average American household pours roughly $2,500 into fuel. But here's the part most drivers never realize. Nearly one-third of that money is wasted. Not spent. Wasted. In this video, you're about to learn 13 fuel-saving strategies that gas stations would rather keep quiet. Some of these tips can slash your annual fuel bill, others can prevent costly engine repairs, and a few can even protect you from accidents. And at the end, I'll reveal a zero-cost trick that can save you more than $1,500 without touching your driving habits. Secret number 13. Stop paying for premium fuel in a car that doesn't need it. Many drivers instinctively grab the premium handle thinking they're giving their engine the good stuff. They're not alone. The AAA reports that over 16 million U.S. drivers make this exact mistake every year, wasting more than $2 billion on fuel their engines cannot take advantage of. The word premium is marketing, not engineering. It doesn't mean cleaner, stronger, or longer-lasting. It simply refers to higher octane, usually between 91 and 94, compared to the standard 87. Higher octane only matters for engines designed for high compression or forced induction. If your vehicle doesn't explicitly require premium, you're burning money. Even cars that merely recommend premium show no actual benefit. Consumer Reports tested it extensively and found no improvement in power, mileage, or performance. That extra 80 to 90 cents per gallon could be put toward something that genuinely helps your engine, especially what I'll reveal in tip number 5. Let's move to another easy way Americans lose hundreds of dollars a year. Secret number 12. Never ignore a dirty air filter. Back when vehicles ran carburetors, a clogged air filter guaranteed poor fuel economy. Less air meant wasted fuel, incomplete combustion, and carbon buildup. Modern engines are smarter, so the story is different, but only partially. A well-known study from the Society of Automotive Engineers concluded that modern ECUs can adjust fuel delivery to maintain the ideal air-to-fuel ratio, which for gasoline engines is 14.7 to 1. On paper, that means a dirty filter shouldn't impact economy. In reality, the test ignores what happens under real-world conditions. A heavily clogged filter can make the engine harder to start because the mixture becomes too rich, fouling spark plugs and even causing flooding. It also reduces acceleration and contributes to carbon deposits inside the intake system. Over time, this buildup does hurt fuel economy and long-term engine health. So a cheap air filter swap can save far more than it costs. Secret number 11. Always maintain proper tire pressure. Most drivers only inflate their tires when the TPMS light comes on. By the time that warning appears, you've already been throwing money away. The TPMS typically activates when pressure falls about 25% below the recommended level. For most cars, that's roughly 8 PSI under. Research from the Department of Energy and the EPA shows that a 1 PSI drop across all four tires reduces fuel efficiency by about 0.2%. An 8 PSI drop means a 1.6% hit, and that adds up quickly for American drivers. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration found that only 19% of vehicles on the road have all four tires correctly inflated. That is billions of dollars donated to gas stations every year. The fix costs nothing. Check the door jam for the correct cold tire pressure, not the tire sidewall. Tires naturally lose about 1 PSI per month so a quick monthly check is all you need. Some people overinflate for better mileage, and yes, it does increase MPG, but it also increases the risk of a blowout and accelerates wear. Saving a few dollars in fuel isn't worth replacing an $800 set of tires or risking a highway incident. Stick with manufacturer specs. Secret number 10. Remove the roof rack when you're not using it. Aerodynamic drag and weight are two of the biggest enemies of fuel economy, and roof accessories hit both at once. That includes ski racks, bike racks, and cargo boxes. A study by the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory found that empty roof racks alone waste over 100 million gallons of fuel every year in the United States. For an individual driver, that's usually a 2-5% to drop in efficiency. At highway speeds, especially around 75 miles per hour, that drag can cut efficiency by more than 12%. Cargo boxes are even worse, 
with some reducing fuel economy by 25%. Loaded racks can slash mileage by 10-25% to due to the added weight and increased drag. The trunk is always more efficient than the roof. If you absolutely need a roof rack, choose an aerodynamic teardrop-shaped design and keep your speed modest. One modern feature can help with that, but most people misunderstand how to use it properly. Secret number 9. People constantly overlook adaptive cruise control, and it's costing them real money. Modern cars are loaded with driver assist systems designed to make driving smoother, safer, and more predictable, yet the majority of drivers barely touch them. In fact, surveys show that even among drivers who have cruise control or adaptive cruise control, only about a quarter actually use it consistently. Even worse, more than a third never use it at all. And that's a very expensive habit. Here's why. Studies in the U.S. consistently show that even small variations in speed, especially the kind you make without noticing, burn more fuel than you think. Speed bouncing between 47 and 53 miles per hour every few seconds can raise fuel consumption by nearly 20%. Add aggressive acceleration and hard braking into the mix, and you're looking at efficiency losses climbing to 30% on the highway. Keeping a steady pace eliminates these spikes, and that's exactly what cruise control is designed to do. Adaptive cruise control takes things even further by smoothing out sudden stops and unnecessary throttle input. On average, drivers using ACC save between 5 and 7% on fuel, and those savings multiply in heavy traffic where stop-and-go driving is brutal on both your brakes and your engine. If you've been ignoring these features because they feel weird, this might be the moment to rethink that. Your wallet and your brake pads will thank you. Now let's tackle a myth that refuses to die. Secret number 8. Stop spending your life idling. Every year, more than 6 billion gallons of fuel go straight into the air because Americans leave their engines running when the car isn't moving. About half of that waste comes from regular passenger vehicles. And while everyone knows idling is bad for emissions, most people don't realize how much it damages your car and your bank account. Unless you're driving a car from the 1980s with a carburetor, long warm-ups are pointless. Modern engines reach an efficient operating temperature much faster than older vehicles ever could. Even in cold weather, manufacturers recommend idling for no more than 30 seconds before gently driving off. Moving the car warms the engine faster, reduces fuel use, and avoids unnecessary carbon buildup. According to EPA testing, idling burns anywhere from a quarter to half a gallon of fuel per hour depending on engine size. And that doesn't include the long-term cost, corrosion in the exhaust, heavy deposits inside the engine, and premature mechanical wear. And it's not just about warm-ups. At long red lights or waiting in parking lots, the EPA recommends shutting off the engine if you'll be stopped for more than 10 seconds. Unless you're below zero in deep winter, idling is almost always working against you. And as a bonus, the cabin heater actually warms faster when you start driving. But if you're concerned about the engine staying too cold, the next tip solves exactly that problem. Secret number 7. Switch to a lower viscosity oil. Roughly 60% of American drivers use the wrong oil for their car, despite the correct viscosity being printed right on the filler cap. And here's the part most people don't know. Going even thinner than the manufacturer's baseline recommendation can improve fuel efficiency even more. Thinner oils circulate faster inside a cold engine and reduce internal friction, which means less resistance, smoother operation, and lower fuel burn. For example, if your vehicle normally runs 5W30, using 0W20 can boost fuel economy by a measurable amount. Drivers generally see an improvement of around 2.4%, and while that may sound small, it adds up fast over thousands of miles. Just keep in mind this only applies to full synthetic oils. High-quality synthetics protect better than conventional oils, even in lower viscosities, and they last longer before breaking down. The drawback is that extremely thin oils don't offer the same long-term protection in high-temperature conditions. That's why a smart approach is to run thinner oil in colder months and step up to a slightly thicker synthetic in the summer. And before your next oil change, you might want to learn a few more things mechanics won't ever tell you about synthetic oil. Next, we move to the most dangerous tip on this entire list, but also one of the most surprising. Secret number six, the hidden benefit of drafting. Yes, 
drafting, the same technique NASCAR drivers use, can dramatically increase fuel economy. And no, you should absolutely not do this. It's illegal in all 50 states and extremely unsafe for reasons we'll get into. But the physics behind it are fascinating. Multiple tests by both the Society of Automotive Engineers and the Mythbusters team found that following a semi-truck extremely closely can slash fuel consumption by up to 35%. That's more efficiency than hybrids get from regenerative braking. At just 20 feet behind a truck, the savings are still around 27%. Even at 100 feet, you can pick up nearly a 10% improvement. But here's the catch. 10 feet behind a semi at highway speeds gives you less than half a second to react. Even at 100 feet, you get barely one second, nowhere near enough at 65 miles per hour. To be considered reasonably safe, most states require maintaining a distance that allows you to come to a full stop without hitting the vehicle in front of you. Practically speaking, that means staying at least 250 feet behind a semi at freeway speeds. And even from that distance, you can still score small efficiency gains, roughly 1-3%. to But if you want real savings without risking your life or your license, the next tip will get you there without the adrenaline rush. Secret number 5, the AC versus Windows Down debate. If you've ever been trapped on a long family road trip, you already know this argument can get more heated than the engine itself. Yes, running the air conditioning forces the engine to work harder, which absolutely burns more fuel, but the real story is a bit more complex. With the AC on, fuel consumption typically jumps by around 15%. On brutally hot summer days, that spike can hit 30%. The key here is speed. At low speeds, driving with the windows open barely affects aerodynamics. In fact, at 40 to 45 miles per hour, the drag is so minimal that using the AC actually costs you more. But once you hit highway speeds, everything changes. A Department of Energy study shows that the balance flips at roughly 60 miles per hour. At that point, when the AC is operating at a 50% duty cycle, small sedans actually use less fuel with the AC on than with the windows down. Vehicles with clunky aerodynamics, think a 2009 Ford Explorer, don't break even until closer to 80 miles per hour. Add the risk of heat exhaustion on high temperature days, and the general rule becomes clear. On the highway, use the AC and always turn on recirculation mode. If you want to step things up even further, brace yourself for something people take way too far. Secret number four, clear the junk out of your trunk. Ever wonder why newer cars rarely come with a full-size spare tire anymore? It's not because tires suddenly became invincible. Automakers are chasing weight reduction because every extra 100 pounds drops fuel economy by roughly 1%, according to the Department of Energy. So if you keep hauling around in used golf clubs, camping gear you haven't touched in months, or miscellaneous, just-in-case items, you're literally paying for it at the pump. That extra load also stresses the suspension, but that's a topic for another video. Some drivers go completely overboard, removing everything from the back seats to the seats themselves. Pickup owners sometimes ditch the tailgate. Others go into illegal territory and remove emissions equipment, which can weigh as much as 200 pounds. But risking a $2,500 fine to save 2% on fuel is one of the worst financial decisions you can make. And hiring a mechanic to unbolt interior seats isn't exactly cost-effective either. A far smarter approach is the next tip. Secret number three, learn to read traffic like a professional. The biggest issue with aggressive driving, aside from the accidents, the repair bills, and the engines blown to pieces, is that it doesn't actually get you anywhere faster. Research from AAA Colorado shows the average driver only saves about 26 seconds per day by speeding. 26 seconds. All that time saving does is put your bank account into early retirement. Studies from MIT found that aggressive driving cuts fuel economy by 15 to 30 percent on the highway and 10 to 40 percent in stop-and-go traffic. If you want to arrive on time and keep money in your pocket, look ahead. See a red light a quarter mile up? Ease off and coast. Notice traffic slowing? Lighten up on the gas. By avoiding unnecessary stops, you reduce strain on the engine and avoid burning fuel just to get the car moving again. And here's another reality that stings. Lane hopping doesn't work. 
That faster-looking lane is just your brain playing tricks on you. Constant lane changes won't get you there sooner, but they will increase your odds of getting into a crash. If you insist on driving aggressively, at least nail the next tip. Secret number two, double-check your gas cap. Nearly 20% of cars on American roads need a new fuel cap. It's one of the most ignored maintenance items, and the cost of overlooking it adds up fast. According to the Department of Transportation, a loose gas cap can allow around 30 gallons of fuel per year to evaporate. That's more loss than you'd get from underinflated tires or using the wrong oil. Because the gas cap is part of the EVAP emission system, your car will usually trigger a check engine light when it's loose. That's why you should always keep an OBD2 scanner in the glove box. If you see codes like P0457, P0456, P0442, or P0455, odds are, about 90%, the gas cap is the culprit. The other 10%? We'll get to that in a moment. Besides making sure the cap is tight, inspect the cap itself. Check the plastic body, the ceiling surfaces, and especially the rubber gasket. If it's cracked, brittle, or missing pieces, replace it immediately. Ignoring it can tank your fuel economy and even cause rough idle, hesitation, or stalling. And now it's time for the biggest fuel-saving secret gas stations hope you never figure out. Secret number one, avoid the fueling extremes. Nobody likes stopping for gas, and going less often can save a tiny amount of fuel. But that convenience leads people into two extremely expensive habits, driving until the tank is nearly empty or topping off past the pump click. Both mistakes drain your wallet. Running your tank low overheats the fuel pump. That pump sits inside the tank and relies on gasoline for cooling. When the level gets too low, the pump starts running hot and eventually fails. A replacement in the U.S. can easily cost $1,500 including labor. Now for the opposite problem, overfilling. First, you risk spilling fuel down the side of your car. That's wasted money and damage to your paint. Second, many gas pumps have vapor recovery systems that literally suck vapor, and sometimes liquid, back into the pump while still charging you for it. Third, topping off can flood the EVAP system. That system sits higher in the tank, and once gasoline gets inside, the whole thing stops working correctly. This is responsible for about 10% of EVAP leak codes. And repairing an EVAP system typically costs between $1,000 and $2,500 in the US+. Plus. Whenever work is done on the fuel tank, you usually lose most of the fuel that's still in it. Double damage, zero benefit.